I am so excited, you guys. I get to stuff my Etsy payout for the very first time. Ah, I'm so excited. So that's what today's video is going to be about. We're going to be stuffing my Etsy payout for the first time ever. And I'm super, super excited about it. Okay, let's get into it. Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel, The Almost Organized Owl, where we are on a mission to get organized in our finances through budgeting, cash stuffing, and saving challenges. If that is something that interests you, please stick around. Let's go ahead and get into today's video. I am so excited. So normally with my Etsy payouts, I end up just reusing those funds to buy materials and I don't see high or low of it. It usually just stays in the bank and just gets recycled back into the business. So this is the very first time that I am able to cash stuff the money that I made from my Etsy shop, which is I'll Save Wisely. Okay, so let's go ahead and count up these funds. And we're going to give Melissa's way a try. Here we go. So 10, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 70, 72, 74, 76, 78, 79, 800. Woohoo! How'd I do, Melissa? <laughs> I'm referring to Melissa over at Budget Stuff Say Repeat. She has a, a different way of counting money um, where she takes the first, um, the first digits, so that would be 10, and then, and then count them in that way. So hopefully that makes sense that I didn't confuse anybody. If I did, she gives a great explanation. I will link her video um, down below. All right, so we have $800 that we're stuffing today um, for my Etsy payout. So I'm so excited. Thank you all so very much for supporting my shop. You guys rock. Oh my gosh, this is the highest amount of money that I've gotten from my Etsy shop. And I am so, 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 so grateful for your support and encouragement and just supporting my shop. I mean, I really appreciate it. There are some people out there who just, um, every time I launch something new, they go and purchase it. And so I, I really appreciate that. Um, trust me, I would have never imagined that this would, would be the case that I would even be able to stuff this large amount of money um, based on just sales from the shop. And so I am so grateful to you guys for for being able to see value in my shop and and the items that I put on there and and purchase them. So thank you all so much. I appreciate it. Um, I have this binder that um, that is dedicated to uh, the dedicated to stuffing uh, my business expenses, um, and I'm excited to break her in and start using her. <laughs> so. For all of you all who may be new, the name of my Etsy shop is I Will Save Wisely. And um, yeah, so I am so excited. I'm sorry I'm like a little bit giddy. And <laughs> I mean, this is just so great to be able to, to do this. So let's go ahead and get started. So I have allocated um, percentages for each one of the categories that I have. And so I have my little cheat sheet over to the side so I know exactly what it is. But like I said, it's a total of $800. So it should make it fairly easy. All of the percentages are um, uh, rounded percentages. There's no 2% or 3% or anything like that. So it makes it easy um, for stuffing. So let's go ahead and get started with giving. We want to make sure that we give straight off the top and um, giving this time around will be $80, which is 10% of the $800. So 20, 40, 60, 80. Okay. Oh, and I'm supposed to be using these trackers, but I may just complete them off camera so we don't take up too much of your time. All right. Next up is taxes. And I know a lot of budgeters or um, small business owners stuff 30% for their taxes. However, 
if you know that you are going to be able to have um, deductions at the end because you have certain things that qualify for um, deductions, then you can estimate your taxes between um, 25 20 to 20, 20 to 30%. Um, most people just like to go on the higher end of that and um, stuff the 30% to make sure that they have all of the sufficient funds um, when it comes around for tax time. However, I need those funds in the in-between time. <laughs> so we're going to go on the lower end and stuff the 20%. And because we are a small business, if there are expenses outside of what I am stuffing, um, when we get around to tax time, I'm imagining that it won't be so significant that I won't be able to cash flow it or pull it from my buffer account. So that's why I am doing the 20% instead of the standard, what you've seen, 30%. And so the 20% will be $160. So let's go ahead and do that. Two, four, six. So that's $160 that we're putting into taxes. Render unto Caesar. <laughs> All right, so subscriptions is getting 5%. And subscriptions just basically include um, my ink, HP ink subscription that I have, as well as Canva. I pay um, a portion of Canva because my husband and I both have uh, small businesses. And so his business is a little bit more profitable than mine. And so he took on the bulk of the Canva subscription and Canva offers something called Canva Teams. So you can kind of team up with somebody um, and share their Canva subscription. And so that's basically what we're doing. And so I pay the lesser amount um, and then he take his business takes on the, the bulk of the Canva subscription. So that's why this is only 5%. And so this 5% is $40 this time around. So that is 40 that we're going to put in here. All right. And the next category is supplies. And supplies will get 25%. And this 25% or supplies um, just basically includes all of the things that I need to make the savings challenges and the things that I put in my Etsy shop. And to be able to replenish those items, I need to put in $200 into this category. So we're going to get 100 20, 40, 60, 80, 200 dollars. And um, you know, sometimes supplies can be expensive, you know. <clears throat> For the items that are in my shop, I like to be able to keep the shipping costs low. Um, for example, the 40 envelope savings challenge box. Uh, the shipping is only $6.95, but oftentimes to ship to the other side of the country will cost me anywhere between $13 to $18, almost $19 to ship those items. Um, so I and I eat those costs because I don't want I know that as a shopper I prefer to see that low shipping amount as opposed to you know a high shipping amount or a product that's priced too high. So those funds will also come out of the supplies category. And so honestly, we typically don't we we did not have a buffer in our account before all of this. I mean I had an alarm on my account that says, hey, you're under $100. But um, other than that, it just kind of let us know that you, we went under $100. But we ended up spending like everything down, almost down to the penny. So it is exciting to be able to stuff like a buffer account to actually have funds that are sitting in the account that have a purpose because its purpose is to be the buffer. <laughs> so I think that's so great. Um, and we're going to go ahead and put five, um, $40 into the buffer. So that's $20, $40. So $40 is going into this buffer account. So... All right, and next is debt. So the purpose of this whole thing is to help me to help us rather to pay off debt sooner. So um, being able to utilize this side hustle money 
to pay down our debt faster is one of the main goals of doing this. Outside of the fact that I think this is absolutely fun. I mean, I've never had a job where I could do something that I absolutely enjoy doing. Um, My husband, oftentimes, he will see me up late working on orders and he's like, you know, I think this is so great that you found something that you're passionate about. But he's like, go to bed. (laughs) You know? (laughs) Um, So I am excited that I am able to do something that I really enjoy doing. And then I get to utilize the proceeds from that to help us to get um, financially free. Okay, so let's go ahead and put in the 30% towards that, which is $240. 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, 40, 60, 80, 200, 2, 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay. So $240 towards that. So that is exciting. And then here is the envelope that Lizzie over at Busy Lizzie Well, I made the envelope, but this is all the items that she sent to me um, is what I used to make this envelope. And then here is the back of it. And this is what I'm going to use to pay myself 5%. Um, And so that is going to be $40. And that will probably go towards me getting my hair done. (laughs) So that's 10, 20, 30, 40, $40. That we're going to put into this envelope for myself all right so thank you all so very much for watching and hanging out with me as i was able to stuff my business binder for the very first time ever i mean so exciting <laughs> Okay, so um, I have some new items in my Etsy shop. Please feel free to go check them out. Um, And oh, I wanted to also let you know that I am, um, we are considering um, me getting another side hustle, um, like a little part time job over the summer. My uh, mom is considering coming to stay with us for a couple, um, for a few weeks and so I am um and so she will watch our children for us and so during that time while she's watching our children I'm hoping that I can get like a part-time gig you know making some additional money so that I can put those side hustle funds into this binder as well and then put more money towards debt um but in addition to putting money towards debt we are also looking to save for Um, a second car. This is like, you know, sharing a bit of my life with you. (laughs) I have Alicia saying in my head. Um, So listen, so we are looking to purchase a second car. Some of you may know that we are a one car family and we've been a one car family for many, many years. However, my husband has been given more responsibilities at work And it is requiring him to be more mobile during the day. So typically our schedule is um, he will drop himself off. I will take the car, take the children to school, come pick all the children up at their respective times. And then we all go pick him up from work and then come back home. So that is typically our schedule. Um, However, he's going to require the car um, during the daytime for you know meetings and lunches that are going to be in different places during the day. And so um, we have to make some adjustments. <laughs> and so to help us to help us to get to our goal of purchasing a second car without having to have a car note because honestly you guys, I do not want another bill. I mean, so the goal is to try to cash flow this car purchase. We're not looking to get anything extravagant. Um, We just need a car that's going to get us from A to B. And so I'm hoping that um, by working this side hustle over the summertime, we can save up those funds to help put towards the car as well as paying off debt. So 
we have some lofty goals for the next three months. And you guys, please keep us in your prayers um, because we need God's favor to be able to, uh, one, for me to be able to find a job <laughs> that is going to pay a substantial amount that's going to, you know, help us towards these goals. And then two, we need to find a good vehicle that is not going to break the bank um, that can safely get us from A to B. So, um I just wanted to let you guys know that you may or may not care, <laughs> um, but I just thought that I would share. Again, thank you all so very much for your support and for hanging out with me today. I truly appreciate you and I appreciate you watching. Thank you all so very much. And until next time, bye.